Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hey everybody, welcome into Buy Time Sports. I am Harry McCullough. We're talking swimming uh, over the next seven minutes. We are joined by Samantha Email, who is uh, recently signed with Millsaps University. So congratulations on Millsaps College. And uh, Jenna Flynn is the coach over at Vanderbilt. So uh, thank you guys for being with us. Uh, exciting time, I guess, as your senior, you're swimming. Y'all finish in the fall pretty much for your, your school year. And, and then you, you start getting recruited, and what's it like to sign a scholarship with Millsaps? It's really exciting, and it's like something that I've always wanted to do was like to continue swimming in college after high school. So, I mean, it was an exciting opportunity for me to get, and getting to do it next year is going to be super exciting. Yeah, to be in a, you know, you'd be a college athlete walking around campus. And <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have your flip-flops on, tell everybody, you know, I'm a swimmer. I'm kind of a big deal here, right? Uh, is Millsaps known as swimming? No, I'm teasing, but yeah, um, how's that going? I feel like all their sports are kind of like out there. Like there's a lot of people that go there and play sports, not just like to swim, but right. like, to do a lot, everything. So for people that don't know, you and I were talking a little bit before we started. Millsaps is – a pretty prestigious university. You're going to be going to school with a lot of uh, a lot of people that are, you know, going to be doing a lot of things down the road. What what drew you to Millsaps? Like the campus felt safe, and like the ratio of students to teachers was kind of small. So like we would have more one on one time with teachers, and the classes, like they said, are about ten people normally. Like your freshman classes are normally a little bit bigger, but as you get higher up the class sizes are smaller. So it's not like the teacher doesn't know you by a number. They know your name. And like, if you're not in class, they ask you why. And like, you can get them on the weekends if I'd you need it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm teasing. I was always in class. Uh, but, uh, but no, a real high academic institution. And, and I, I know that had to be a draw as well, right? I, I imagine you're a pretty good student if they came yeah. after you. <laughs> I try like in school a lot and like I strive to do as good as I can in everything. So I wanted an academic challenge. All right. I, and yeah, you'll get one. That's a, that's a good school. So, hey, Jenna, l let's talk a little bit about Samantha's career. Y you, you've been coaching at Vanderbilt. You said, what, six years now? It's my first year. I mean, one year, I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> six months. <laughs> yeah. What kind of swimmer, what kind? What do college coaches look for in an athlete to, to think that they can go in the next level? Definitely think um, worth it, work ethic is probably the number one, um, both academics and athleticism. Um, and Sam definitely emphasizes the work ethic. Um, you know, she couldn't swim for me this year due to ineligibility, um, but I knew where she was every day after school. Um, she was practicing two days, three days. She was doing everything she could to get noticed. Um, and I think just as a coach, um, seeing that work ethic and you work it hard towards something and your goal is awesome. And I think that's what colleges are looking at. Yeah. And uh, uh, no doubt. So what do, what do you swim and what do you swim? What are you going to try and do on the next level? I swim sprint free and mid distance free and then sprint fly and backstroke. And I am. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys swim, you swim year round. Yes, sir. So tell me about that training. And, you know, look, we've all seen what the 13,000 calories that Michael Phelps would eat. Uh, yeah. You're probably not eating at that level. No. <laughs> but, but tell me about your workouts and, and what it takes to be a college athlete as a swimmer. So we have two practices a day every day, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday. We All just year have, round. Yes. Yeah. And then Saturday we just have one morning practice. So like Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays we do a workout in the gym, and then in the afternoons we swim two hours, and then the – Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do a two-hour swim in the morning before school. And and I know swimmers, that, that morning thing is like <laughs> like five in the morning or something, right? Yeah, our dry lands, so like our gym workouts, are from seven, no, six to seven. And then our swims are 5.30 to seven. And you doing year-round, you said the wellness center now? Yes, sir. So you have to drive to Thibodeau every morning? Yes, sir. So that's, <laughs> that's even better. And, and Jenna, why do they make the water so cold for these athletes in the morning, right? Because I, I know what it's like. Right? <laughs> yeah, I hosted a morning workouts and it got, it was really cold towards the end of the season, but um, cold water is 
better for breathing no, um, when the water. I, I was hot. kind of teasing, but, oh, but you're well, serious. Yeah, so, yeah right? I'm serious. Yeah. No, I know yes. they always talk about it when they first jump yes. in, right? It's always yep. a big deal. But that's it. I guess if you're swimming 10,000 meters or something, you start getting You might hot. start getting warm, You actually right? sweat yeah. in the pool. Yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. So what, what's the goals? Do you, do you want to get better every year and maybe, well, I guess you don't know until you get close, but could there be a chance to go somewhere else down the road, maybe Olympics or something. I feel like it's more of like the person's like work ethic, but like in my opinion, like I'd like to strive to get better and be as good as I possibly could be. So if I could get close to an Olympic trial cut, I would. And then like, if not that, I'd like to get to like the NCAA championship or sectionals. Yeah, and and then that's Division Three, and then you know transfer portal. Now yeah. they're not good to you, man. I'll, I'll switch <laughs> over to Florida. Next year, right? <laughs> so no, that, that that's pretty awesome. So you know the the requirements, and, and you know what it takes to be a swimmer. And you're going into an academic institution. It's probably going to stress you. What, do you know what you want to study yet? I want to go into nursing. Okay. So. so you know they're going to challenge you as well. You're going to have to be able to juggle a lot of things, I'm sure, and, yeah. and be very organized as you go there. Do you, do you talk about that with your parents? Yeah. I'm a very organized person, so like I feel like I'll be okay. And I do put a lot of time into school and studying, so I think that'll also help. And I good, I'm a good time management person. And, and Jackson, Mississippi, I, I don't know if you've been there besides just on campus. A little different town. I played baseball in that town, by the way. <laughs> it was minor league baseball back in the day. But but an exciting place to hang out in, in that area where Millsaps is very nice. Yeah. So it'll be so. Congratulations, appreciate it, Jenna. Thank you so much for coming by, Thanks Sam. For us. Best thank of luck. You. We'll be looking for you. Okay. All right. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the Body Time Sports. I'm Harry McCullough. We'll see you next time.